So the history of Sigma Design. So it started in 1994, two people. When we started off, I was doing the clicks and beeps and doing design work and quoting and marketing and sales and invoicing and payroll, shipping, some machining. The first office was in John Barker's house and we moved out of that. When we first added a machine shop, we needed to have a mill. And so I went to an auction and bought a mill and I certainly made lots of parts on it. We've grown to over 320 people now, and we still have that manual mill. It's a much smaller piece of our shop when it used to be the entire piece, and we do everything from what we call concept through production. We start usually with the concept phase, and that's where you look at and define the product and figure out everything you need it to do. Then you work into a development phase, and that's where you come up with the design and the details that will meet that concept that you're looking for. Usually then there's a prototype and a testing phase where you try the thing out. Does it do what I expected it to do? And then you do a production phase, which is where you ramp up the speed, you produce these things until you're up and running the production quantity that you need to make. We have lots of equipment, machines, computers, software, but those don't operate by themselves and it takes people. People say, oh, you know, we really care about our employees and you're like, yeah, yeah, right, whatever. Um, but at Sigma, I mean, they, people really do care about you. I mean, we care about each other, we're kind of a family, and we go out of our way to make sure that we do help each other out in whatever way possible. Then there's also just lots of random, fun, bizarre things always going on. Most everything you see around here came from the employees and them saying, oh, wouldn't it be great if we had? So we go, okay, great, let's do it. The most exciting part of the design process for me is watching stuff come together, watching the end product, whatever it is, watching it become real, delivering. I'm always surprised, like, man, how did we do that? You know, you just get a bunch of people in a room and you brainstorm and you come up with some crazy idea and we'll figure it out. Doesn't matter what it is, but we will figure it out. We'll have fun doing it at the same time, which I think is cool.